Erev Tov Rabotai, we are continuing with our Mishnah Yomi, Mesechet Maaser Sheni, we are up to Perek Gimel Mishnah Dalid. Today's Mishnah Yot should be Leilu Nishmat, Neria Ben Svetlana, Arambayev, and Eliyahu Ben Burcha Yisraelov, Minuchatam Began Eden, Amen. In yesterday's Mishnah we learned that a person may redeem Maaser Sheni coins on Techulin Produce, when both the coins and the produce are in Yerushalayim, Today's Mishnah adds that this is true even if one of them, the coins or the produce, is outside of Yerushalayim. The Mishnah says, Perot Birushalayim Umaot Bamidina. If someone has Khulin produce in Yerushalayim and Maaser Shini coins in the provinces, meaning outside of Yerushalayim, and he needs the coins to buy items other than food or drink, Omer, he may say, Harea Maot Ahem Mechuladin Al Perot Ahelu. Those coins outside Yerushalayim should have their sanctity transferred onto this produce in Yerushalayim. The produce is now Maaser Sheni and must be eaten in Yerushalayim. And the coins become Chulin. And the Rav explains even though the produce and coins are not in the same place, the transfer is valid. The Mishnah now brings the reverse case. Ma'od Yerushalayim u'perod ba'midina. If a person has Maaser Sheni coins in Yerushalayim and Chulin produce in the provinces outside of Yerushalayim, Omer, he may say, these coins in Yerushalayim shall have their sanctity transferred onto that produce outside Yerushalayim. The coins now become chulin and they may, he may use them for any purpose. As long as the produce is brought up and eaten in Yerushalayim since the produce is now Maaser Sheni. And the Tashim explain the reason the Mishnah mentions this point here even though it didn't mention in the previous case, is to teach that this produce may not be redeemed again onto other coins or food and must be eaten in Yerushalayim. Now, although produce separate as Maaser Shini may be redeemed, food on which Maaser Shini coins were redeemed may not be redeemed again unless the food becomes Tameh. And that is in Rabotai Mishnah Daud. Mishnah he now discusses a halakha that applies to Maaser Shini after it is brought into Yerushalayim. Ma'ot nichnasot Yerushalayim v'yotzot. Coins of Maaser Shini may enter and leave Yerushalayim, meaning even after Maaser Shini coins have been brought into Yerushalayim, it is permitted to take them out of the city. Uperot nichnasin v'enan yotzin. But produce of Maaser Shini enters Yerushalayim but may not leave because the Mevashim explained once Maaser Shini produce has been brought into Yerushalayim, it is forbidden to take it out. Rather, it must remain in the city to be eaten. And the Mevashim explained... This is a Isud Rabbanan, a rabbinic prohibition, because Midoraita by Torah law, although Maaser Sheni produce may be redeemed for money before it is brought into Yerushalayim, once it, once it enters the city, it may no longer be redeemed. It may, however, be taken out of the city and be redeemed, be, be redeemed there. But as a precaution against redeeming Maaser Sheni inside Yerushalayim, the rabbis decreed that a person may not even redeem Maaser Shani outside Yerushalayim if it has once entered the city. And as a further precaution, they decreed that once Maaser Shani enters the city, it may not be taken out at all. The Mepharshim say, this decree, however, applies only to produce and not to money of Maaser Shani. This concept is referred to as Michitzot Koltot, the walls take hold, meaning... Once Maaser Shini produce enters the city, the walls of Yerushalayim, so to speak, take hold of it and it may, may not be removed from the city or redeemed. Rabban Shimon ben Gamliel Omer, Rabban Shimon ben Gamliel says, Afa perot nichnasin v'yotzin, even Maaser Shini produce may enter and you leave Yerushalayim, meaning a person is permitted to take Maaser Shini produce out of the city after it has been brought in. And the Vashim explain, Rabban Shimon agrees that the produce may not be taken out permanently, Meaning it may not be taken out and then have its sanctity transferred to other produce or money so that the original produce that was in Yerushalayim will become chulin and be in elsewhere. The only thing that Shimon allows is taking the produce out of Yerushalayim in order to prepare it for eating. Because since there were more mills and ovens outside of Yerushalayim than there were inside, it was easier and cheaper to grind Maaser Sheni grain and bake it outside Yerushalayim. Therefore, Rabban Shimon ben Gamliel permitted Maaser Shani to be taken out of the city and processed as long as it was later returned to Yerushalayim to be eaten. So even he didn't say you could take it out for good and redeem it. You, you can take it out to prepare it to bring it back to eat in Yerushalayim. But the Tanakhama forbids removing the produce even temporarily. And the Rav says, 
Ven Racha ki Rabban Shimon ben Gamliel, the Alacha does not follow the opinion of Rabban Shimon ben Gamliel. The Racha follows the opinion of the Tana Kama that you may not take the produce out of Yerushalayim even temporarily to prepare it to be eaten. And that is in Abu Taif, that is Mishnah Yomi. Ba'u Chadunai Le'olam. Amen v'amen.